Hello, I'm Oscar Marquez. With the election coming up February 26, we at Rogers Edge Reporter want to help you make an informed decision. We are inviting the candidates in to introduce themselves. Today we have David Earl Williams III, who's running for Alderman for the 48 Ward. Hello, Mr. Williams. Oh, hello, how are you doing today? Good. <laughs> Um, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? I grew up in uh, uptown Chicago, that's Lawrence and Broadway, right next to Aragon. I graduated from Sydney High School in 2002. I was on their academic decathlon team, and I was in the Navy for four years, stationed in Yokosuka, Japan, from 2002 to 2006. So I've been over Asia, Australia, and the Middle East. I uh, went to study abroad in Canada, left Bridge, Alberta, Canada for, well, two years, but I was there for four. Came back in 2010 to the United States, lived in Evanston, uh, worked three part-time jobs, then made my way over to Edgewater, where I've been a resident for six years. Uh, worked at the medical examiner's office. I currently work at uh, North Shore Hospital in Skokie, doing the uh, materials management out there and budgeting. Why do you think you will make a good alderman? What do I think? Why do I Why, think yeah. I would make a good alderman? Well, si simply this: there's a lot of aldermen and women who are in there right now. They're voting 94 to 98 percent of the time with the mayor. You know, I'm here to not appease the mayor or special interests. I'm here to work with the community. And I think that's what's missing. Are there any issues in particular? Oh yeah, like for example, you know, we do have affordable housing. I am all in favor of it. I think we should have more. But you know, when it comes to taking public funds, you know, uh, usually it's like 10 to 15 percent of these units that are being built. They have to be affordable already. But you know, I've come across a lot of people, and I'm a renter myself. You know, it's getting very expensive. So I happen to be in favor of lifting the state ban on rent control. Uh, I like to preserve uh, as much as I can of the uh, historic landmarks in Edgewater. And, um, well, you know, when it came to uh, police accountability, you know, we, we need more of that. You know, I was in the Navy for four years, as I mentioned before, and any time that any of us were out of line, depending on the severity of it, you know, usually there's a captain's mass or you're going to uh, go to the brig or, you know, probably on dishonorable discharge. So if I have to be held accountable, especially with my military service, I think police ha have to as well. And keep in mind, I don't hate cops. You know, my step uncle was a, a police officer, and you know he did his job. So that's, those are the changes I like to see. Also, like to see changes when it comes to you know there being a public bank, for example. Uh, we do need a, uh, to revitalize the Department of Environment as well. You know, because those are important things. You know, to protect our environment. Uh, we have sewer over floods, for example. That has to stop. We uh, have the lead pipes we need to change out. Those have been a problem for 60 years, and none of the older men or women have addressed that, unless it's you know re-election rhetoric. But you know something really needs to uh, change on that issue. I think. Is there anything else you want to add? Well, if I do have an opportunity to become alderman of the 48th Ward, you know I'm always going to put community first before uh, partisan and uh, you know special interests. And people can always come to me, regardless if they dislike me or not. You know I'm here to work for the people, and if I do win, I'm giving 30 percent of my pay. Uh, back to the charities within the ward as well. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for having me again. Stay tuned for more candidate interviews.